Oh, David, that's lovely. So we finally get this. This is, I mean, this is the big news. The, the system eight. I mean, everybody's been going. What is it? What is it? What is it? I mean, we we got we've seen, but now I see it in the flesh. I kind of get it. It's got a very. I, I love these Jupiter six, Jupiter eight type end pieces. So to take me through, because it looks like there's a lot going on here, right? It's yeah, more, than, more than a system than a, a more than just a system one with yeah. polyphony, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, it has a lot of knobs and sliders, but it's not it's not really that complicated to use, which is uh, one of the key points for me, I think. So for those who are not familiar with the system one, um, this is based. Uh, one of the big things with the system eight is the plug out concept, which we had on the system one as well which is basically uh, digital remakes of, of Roland classic synths. Like, uh, in this case, we have some new ones added, but it's basically digital remakes. Uh, so this is kind of a shape-shifting synth. It's like uh, having several synths in one. And I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about patches emulating uh, just the patches. It's, oh, it's got actually, the plug-out plug thing Yeah, the plug-out thing means you get a new sound engine, you get new filters, everything changes. So it's literally like having several synths in one. It's not about just patch libraries. But that, um, I mean, I was just amazed. We've got two oscillators plus a sub-oscillator. I mean, that's kind of... That's yeah, we also have noise, uh, a noise oscillator as well. Uh, but these are all kind of dependent on, as well on, on what plug-out synth you're using. Uh, regardless, it's still very powerful and you can actually uh, what's make, what makes this unique compared to the System 1 is you know you can combine different uh, plug out synths. So I can, for instance, uh, take a System 8 bass sound and layer it with a Jupiter 8 lead, for instance. Oh, so it's got it's layer and split? Sorry? It's got split and layer. It's got split and layer, yeah. Yes, that's what. So, so I mean, that was the big thing that was a disappointment with the boutique JPL8 because that was it, its thing, wasn't it? The, the fact that you could run two separate sounds and have polyphony. I mean, this you can do. You could split and maybe yeah, have an so arpeggiator. That sort we do of have more voices. We have we have eight, eight voices compared to the system ones four. Um, but but the uh, the JP008 from the boutique series actually could. Uh, it could split, layer. but you couldn't do the arpeggiator at one side and. Ah uh, no no that's that's correct. Yeah, Which that's was true. one of the big things. That yeah so this one we also uh, we have both arpeggio and we also have a step sequencer. Um, I could just maybe I should just show you a, a couple of things. I mean. For, I have a performance mode here. This is for this is for one of the songs I play. Um, this is essentially a layering a, a system eight sound uh, with the Jupiter with the Jupiter eight sound. So this is a Jupiter eight, and we also have a system eight sound. So they all have their indiv individual effects and their individual. Ah, so uh, so so you got. A two-way split or, or layer, I guess. Yeah. And the effects, they are doubled up, so they're for each split, each each side. Exactly. So you, each each side have their own effects and, and uh, yeah, their own oh, right. settings, basically. Okay. Um, so, okay. So I mean, effectively, you got two, one eight voice or two four voices. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So the voices depend on how many parts you're using, of course. Right. Um, but yeah. Um, uh, what I also like is, so if I go for instance here, this is this is an example of a Jupiter 8 sound, which, um, I mean, the, the advantage of this is having, it's like a Jupiter 8, but you can do stuff to the sound that you cannot do with a Jupiter 8. So for instance, in this case, velocity, yeah. velocity sensitive filter, which is like a, a must to me when I program sounds. I love velocity filtering. So uh, now you can do that, but with a Jupiter 8, which wasn't possible before. And modulation. And it's good to see the performance section has got some decent. Uh, it's got you know you can pitch yes. and filter for each side. Yeah. So you have you have a you can you can set a, a pitch range and a filter range for uh, for both the, the pitch bend, but also for the modulation. So. Now, now I can, for instance, filter it with uh, uh, just filter it by by turning this, or I can have um, pitching as well, and just change really quickly change the, the pitch range, and then same thing with the mod sensitivity, the filter or just the pitch, or both. So, uh, speaking of mod, um, just a single LFO? 
Or is there more than one LFO? There's one LFO. Uh, there is, uh, well, there are, there are several LFO types here to choose from, or several variations. Ah, okay. Uh, so if I go to, to uh, 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 LFO variation two, this is actually uh, an LFO modulating the LFO. So it's like it's like two in one. So it's essentially two LFOs, but they are all right, so as one algorithm. So right, to speak. gotcha. Yeah. So, um, I, I mean, it definitely has a full. Fa and I guess when you do the plug out thing, do the lights go on and off? Oh, yes, they do. Yes, I can see that. So the lights Yeah, exactly. Off, Just on like on the system one. Yeah. And, and also, a really unique thing is that. Uh, or powerful thing as well is that we have three plug out memories. So you have the system one, but you also have uh, three three separate plug outs that you can store at the same time. And of course, it's backwards compatible. I mean, the, these are new plug outs that it comes with. It comes with, shipped with the Jupiter 8 and with the Juno 106. But it's also um, a backwards compatible to the system one plug out. Oh, so you could load those up? Yeah. So does it expand all the voices or does it no, stay it keeps no, them No, they work exactly like they did. Yeah. But it means you can access them. Oh, uh, yeah, and well, also we have, a, well, like I said, we have a step sequence, so maybe I can show you a quick yeah, example. Yeah, I mean, here's a performance I made just to... <laughs> and then, the sequence I can keep playing, uh, if I uh, switch to the next performance, I can just go... All oh, right, so the left-hand side of the split is just staying the same voice. And yeah, it's because I've assigned the same sound to, to both uh, perform, uh, perform, uh, performances. <laughs> so so now it's here on the step sequence. Uh, um, can you record motion sequence, if you like, of the parameters? Yeah, yeah, it basically records any parameters uh, on board uh, directly into the real-time sequencer. So you can just turn any knob uh, and have it record a loop. And is it just 16 step, or can you uh, expand the length of the sequence? Uh, you can have up to four bars in one sequence. Oh, right, cool. Yeah. Uh, I did also notice there was some CV and gate I.O. on the back. Yeah, CV and gate output so you can connect it to your Eurorack modules or... Is that just from the sequencer or just or just from the keyboard? That or? is, you can use that for anything, basically. Oh, so yeah. module... Wow, I mean, I know it's only been here a little while. Um, and do you, again, is this going to be available in October sometime? Yeah, yeah, next month. David, thank you very much. Cheers, thank you very much.